Hi, it's Mark here from mieccctv.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at how to add your Eclipse IP camera onto your Alliance DVR as an additional channel to your already 16 TVR or analog channels. Now the Alliance DVR can support up to two additional IP cameras as well as 16 HD TVI or 16 analog cameras in any combination. Firstly what we're going to need to look at is connecting your IP camera into your router. Now what you'll need to do is connect the IP camera into your internet router and not directly into the DVR. To do this you'll need to have a Category 5e cable or an Ethernet cable and you'll need to plug one end into your IP bullet that you've received or dome camera and you'll have to plug the other end into the internet router. You'll also have to ensure that your camera has a power supply to it to enable the camera to work. Some switches will have power over Ethernet and our IP cameras do support power over Ethernet so if this is the case you won't need the additional power supply. Once you've got your camera connected into your network you'll need to go to your computer and install the installation CD that was included with the camera. So as you can see on screen we need to install the IP search tool. The IP search tool will take a moment to install and it will just say installation complete. Once you've got the software on your computer you'll need to run the software which is called IPC search. Once you've done that if you click on search it will bring up the camera. Now the default IP address for these cameras is 192.168.1.168. What we need to do is enable DHCP on the right hand side and then enter in the password which is admin and then we click modify. That's going to modify the IP address of the camera so we're going to have to give it a minute so that it can reboot. When we press search again on the IP search tool it will come up with its new IP address which will be within your network range. Now in this case it's 192.168.66.152 Once you've done this you'll need to ensure that your DVR is connected to your router also. Now in the same way that we did the bullet camera you'll have to plug a Category 5 E cable or Ethernet cable into the back of your DVR and you'll have to plug the other end of the cable into your internet router as shown on screen now. Now we can look at doing the setup on the DVR. To do this you'll have to pull up the menu and go into the camera option. Now if you successfully connected both your DVR and your camera into your router the camera should show up here immediately with the IP address that was specified earlier. All we need to do is click on the plus. Now initially we'll get a yellow triangle because the camera doesn't have the password that we need. So we're going to enter in the camera's password of admin. We click OK on that. Now it'll take a minute to connect but if it's successfully connected we should see a blue circle which means the camera is successfully connected. So this doesn't take up any of our existing channels on the DVR we still have the remaining 16 channels but now you can skip to the next page by using the scroll wheel on the mouse and you'll find you've got an additional IP camera. This completes this tutorial on how to add your IP camera onto your Alliance DVR if you look in the description below this video you'll find a link to the product that includes the DVR and the IP camera and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.